Hello and welcome back to Professional Tutors, the British Online School. We are a unique team of qualified and dedicated teachers here to help our students to reach their full potential. So in today's lesson, we're going to talk about standard form. So we'll look at um, the questions where we're going to learn how to write large numbers um, in standard form, how to write uh, small numbers uh, in standard form, and how to write negative numbers um, in standard form. So that's a little starter for you to do. You can pause the screen uh, to them, and we're going to mark them in a minute. So just have a look at this. So if it's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, so which is going to be 10,000, and that's going to be 10 to the power of 4. Um, same here, 10 times 10 times 10, which is going to be 1,000, and that's going to be 10 to the power of 3. Same way, this one is 10 to the power 2, and when there's nothing, it's always 10 to the power of the number to the power 1. Uh, just count the number of zeros and put that as a power. Now, one very important exam question here. Uh, if it is 10 to the power 1, the answer is the number itself. But quite a few times, or they are going to ask that in the exam, what if this is 10 to the power 0? So if it is 10 to the power 0, the answer is not zero. That is what most of the students write. Any number raised to the power zero, the answer is going to be one. So for example, for this question, if you write this in standard form, so any number, the answer in standard form is a number and then times by 10 to the power something. So that's when two times 10 to the power 3. For this one, that's going to be 9 times 100. That's going to be 9 times 10 to the power 2. For this one, same story. And so we can say that this, this, and this, they are written in standard form. So the way you're going to write any number in standard form, the answer should be something like that. So a times 10 to the power n. Now a is going to be a number which is going to be bigger than or equal to 1. So this number is always going to be 1 or more than 1, but less than 10. We're going to look at a few examples. So this number must be between 1 and 10. It can't be 11. It can't be 0 0.9. It has to be one uh, and number between one and 10. So that's going to be your first integer. Then it always have, the base number always have to be the 10. It can't be 20, it can't be four or anything. So when we write standard form, the, it's always 10 to the power something. And that something is going to be an integer. So, uh, that is how we write the answer in standard form. So first number, uh, which is going to be um, bigger than 1, less than uh, between 1 to, to 10, then base to the 10, and n is going to be an integer. So is the following number written in standard form? So for a number to be in standard form, it has to follow, follow all these three criteria. So let's see, is A a number bigger than uh, or equal to 1 and less than 10? So yes, I would say yes. That's the tick. This number, is, the, is this a base of 10? No, it's not. So because that is not following this criteria, so that number is not going to be a standard form. This number is not written in standard form. Just have a look at this. So it is the following number written in standard form. So that's 18 times 10 to the power 3. Let's see, is this number number between 1 and 10? And the answer is no. So this number is not going to be, um, this number is not written in standard form. So if you look at this example, 
So is the following number written in standard form? It's three times 10 to the power 1.5. So this number is between one and 10. So we can tick this box. This is the base of 10. So we can tick this box as well. But this number is not an integer. It's a decimal number. So it doesn't follow this criteria. So that means this number is not written in standard form. So let's have a look at this example here. So is this number between one and 10? Yes, it is one and 10, regardless whether it's decimal or not. Base of 10, yes, we can tick this box as well. And the power or the index is an integer. Uh, it's a whole number. So we can tick this box as well. So yes, this number is written in standard form. So just have a look at these examples now. These are some questions for you to do. You can pause the screen, take your time, do them, and then we're gonna mark them in a minute. So let's have a look at the answers. So you can give yourself a tick or a cross. So that's in the standard form. Uh, this is in the standard form. Uh, that is in the standard form. This is in the standard form. Just have a look at these questions here. Write the, the following numbers in standard form. You can pause the screen, take your time, give it a go, and we're going to discuss the answers in a minute. So just have a look at the answers for the first one. Uh, that's going to be 7 times 10 to the power 2. Uh, that is going to be 9 times 10 to the power 4. 3.6 is your choice. You can write 3.6 or 3.60, but normally we don't write zeros right at the end. Uh, but your answer still is going to be right if you write 3.60. Good practice. If the zeros are at the end, we don't write those zeros uh, when we write the answer in standard form. But if the zeros are in the middle, we're going to look at that in a minute. Uh, so it's 5.2, 10 to the power 5. This is a special case. If zeros are not at the end, then we have to include, we must, otherwise they're going to cross the answer. So if the zeros are not at the end, if they're in the middle, then we have to write those zeros as well. If the zeros at the end, then you don't need to. Uh, so that's going to be 6.45, 10 power 6. That's going to be 5 times 10 to power 1. Uh, or simply 5 times 10 is, is the same thing. Um, that's going to be 1.8. You have to move the decimal there because it's not, it's 18. So the answer has to be the number between 1 and 10. So 18, you have to make it 1.82. And you move the decimal towards the left by one place. So that's going to be 10 to 12, 1. 80 is going to be um, all of that one. So 8 times 10 to the power 1, and then we have got 3.2 or 10 to the power 1. Uh, with these ones at the bottom, that's going to be 6 uh, times 10 to the power 2. And for this one, you have to write this 0. So that's going to be 2.03. And this one, um, well, you can put any number there. That's not a problem at all. Right, so in exam, they can also ask you to um, write the reverse answer. So, so if they give you the question standard form, they ask you to write the answer uh, in ordinary number. So that's just a reverse operation of what we've discussed. So for this one, it's quite straightforward, uh, 600,000. Uh, this one times by 10 to the power two, so simply 800. Um, when it's decimal, just move the decimal by how many places they want. So here, four places, so four times two, 10,000, and that will become 42,000. This one, you can write it like this, and when you times this by 100,000, the answer is going to be 398010. Now I have some questions for you to answer. So pause the screen, um, do them, and, we're going to discuss the answers in a minute. 
So just have a look at answers. So the correct give yourself a tick and the um, wrong give yourself a cross. So that's going to be 200, four zero 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 one. Okay, and 740. That sounds for this one. And this one says 12. So that was a number in standard form. So it would go um, to, you don't need a decimal here. Uh, 7030, and that's the answer. And 25, and that is the wrong answer here. So guys, this is the one, uh, this one is wrong here. So the answer is going to be 400. And 1.6. That's 401.6. That's the correct answer. Thanks for watching. If you find the information useful, please subscribe, share, and like the video.